Hey guys, what is going on? This is iAppleGeek3. Today I want to show you guys 10 more Cydia tweaks for your iOS 9 jailbroken device. And I assure you, these 10 free tweaks will not disappoint. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. First tweak I want to talk about is App Admin. What this allows you to do is when you go into the App Store and you have an update, and when you tap on the button, it's going to give you a little menu showing you several different options. Now, I want to cover the downgrade option right now, since it is the main feature of this tweak. Now, what this allows you to do is to downgrade your application version. So, for example, here I'm downloading an older version of the YouTube application. Also, if you see on my home screen, I actually have an old version of Instagram. Instagram as well. And because of app admin, I got InstaBetter to work on my device. Now what InstaBetter does is enhances your Instagram app where you can, for example, you can hold down on an image and zoom all the way in. You can also save media from posts to your camera roll. And there's also an added option of having a share sheet on the post itself so you can just send it to all your friends. And this tweak works very well with app admin because InstaBetter may not always be updated for the latest Instagram version, but you can control which version you're on with app admin. And it's just really cool to see these two tweaks work together. Sometimes text messages just seem to pop out of nowhere, but thanks to type status 2, you can actually see when a message is about to be sent. Your status bar will change and show you if somebody is typing or if they read your message. Super handy. Next up we have an annoyance fixer, it's called beep beep. Now what this allows you to do is to toggle on and off the charging sound when you plug in your device and you can even customize which sound comes out when you plug in your device. Of course there's a bunch of other different options too, so I recommend you guys go check this one out. Next up we have messages customizer. Now this will allow you to change every single aspect of the messages application from the color scheme to the background to the keyboard color. This tweak is really in depth. So for example if I go into my settings I go to app tint change this to white and I come back here and my background is currently my wallpaper so I'll just change it to a blurred version. So if I go back and kill the messages app and I go back in here as you guys can see the text is now white up here and the background is blurred. Next up we have a new tweak out on Cydia. It's not exactly polished yet but it works for the time being. This is called KB Swipe 9. Now what this does is import the functionality from the iPads when you put two fingers on the keyboard it will allow you to move the cursor around your screen. Basically turning your on-screen keyboard into an on-screen trackpad. At the moment, it's not working quite as well as the ones on the iPads, but I believe this will be ironed out in the future. Makoto is the ultimate all-in-one tweak. This allows you to customize so many aspects of iOS and even other applications, which is so cool about this tweak because you can literally zoom in infinitely on the Photos app if you wanted to. This is really cool. Think of it as a spring optimize for your system and other applications. There's just so many features of this tweak, it would take me like 20 minutes to review every single feature. Now I do have to warn you guys, this tweak is not fully updated yet, so a lot of the features won't be working as well as they should, but some things still do work like the one tap to clear notifications, and things like disabling YouTube advertisements and enabling reachability on non-supported devices currently work. This is one of my personal favorites, so I'm trying not to be too biased, but go check this one out. Next up, we have a tweak called Harbor, which basically gives you a Mac OS style dock on your iOS device, and the icons will animate whenever you select one. Everything can be adjusted in the settings, so you can customize it to your liking. Of course, you can actually put an infinite amount of icons down there, at least until the icons get too small. Next up we have an oldie from iOS 6, it's Jelly Lock Unified. This has been updated for iOS 9.3.3. This brings an Android style lock screen to your iOS device and for me it is really convenient because it has those application shortcuts right there on the lock screen for you so you can have all of your most recently used apps on the lock screen. And of course you can expect that the settings panel for this tweak is fully loaded with customization to make it look how you want it to look. And as you guys saw, in order to get into the applications you do have to enter your password or use touch ID. Of course you can configure all of this in the settings. 
And number 10, we also have another oldie that has returned to iOS 9. This is called Status Vol X. Basically, it puts that ugly volume pop-up into your status bar. Now, this also works in full screen applications and it just kind of slides down, very minimalistic, and it's not in your way. So if you hate that volume pop-up with a fiery passion like I do, this is the perfect tweak for you. And now the bonus tweaks. For those of you who don't want to buy a new device to get the new features, enable live photos is perfect for you because it gives you the live photos functionality on non-supported devices. All you have to do is toggle on that little thing at the top. I don't know what to call that thing, but you take a picture, you go to look at it, and you can just activate the live photos by holding down, just like you would do on an iPhone SE. Now switching back to my iPhone SE, I'm going to show you guys the next tweak called Check. This is a really old tweak, but it still works on iOS 9. When you select email, you know, it's really tedious when you have to tap them one by one. So Check allows you to hold down on an email, and when that little indicator starts flashing, it will select every email in between the one you selected and the next one you tap. This is really awesome. Apple should really implement something like this in their future iOS updates because I don't want to sit here and tap through 300 emails. As you guys can see, I just selected 308 just like that. That's crazy. So go check this one out. No pun intended. And the last tweak I have for you guys is called Power Color. This allows you to customize the color of your battery icon in the status bar. Now you may be wondering, how do I know if my device is charging if it's green all the time or purple all the time or whatever you set it to be? Well, you can use Charge Pulse, which I mentioned in a previous video. It works seamlessly with this tweak. And just as a little side note, because this tweak overrides the color of the battery icon, low power mode will no longer change the icon to yellow. Alright you guys, that is all I have for you guys in this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let's see if we can get this video to 25 likes. I know I'm asking a lot, I know. And if you want to, don't forget to subscribe. But anyways guys, enjoy your tweaks and until next time, peace.